and yes one thing you need to be clear about is that we are not talking about the noble gases that are very that that are down the group because as you go down the group the size of the atoms increases so if the size of the atoms is getting larger then it is deviating away from ideal behavior right so we are talking about the noble gases that are quite up the group like we are talking about helium because helium has very small atoms and they are monoatomic because it's it's a monoatomic gas so that's why helium is actually the closest real gas to ideal behavior so now let's move forward uh, let's do an exercise based on pv is equal to nrt so that you understand how to use the equations now um when vaporized in a suitable apparatus 0.13 grams of e so we have uh, so let's say we are already given that the empirical formula of e is c3h6o2 okay so this is the empirical formula of e when vaporized in a suitable apparatus 0.130 grams of e occupied a volume of 58 cm3 at 127 degrees celsius and 1 into 10 to the 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square newton per meter square is the same as pascal so use the expression pv is equal to mrt over mr to calculate mr of e so um first of all let uh, you you must be thinking that the equation we did was pv is equal to nrt right so where did the get, get this equation from let me just make it a little more neater uh, just a second pv is equal to nrt so um you must be thinking how did they get this equation and why aren't we using this equation so if you see what is n n is m upon mr right so that's what they have done they have replaced n with m over mr so you need to remember this concept so use the expression pv is equal to mrt over mr to calculate mr of e so and here m is the mass of e so we are given p p is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 actually before taking the values let's make mr the subject of this equation because that's what we need to calculate right so let's first make mr the subject so mr is equal to mrt over pv so mrt over pv now uh, m over here is equal to 0.13 that's what we have given we are given r is equal to 8.31 it's a constant t is equal to 127 degree celsius now remember T is always in Kelvin, not degree Celsius. So this will be one twenty seven plus two seventy three over uh, P is equal to one into ten to the power of five multiplied by V, which is fifty eight centimeter cube. Now remember, V is always in meter cube and not in centimeter cube. So this will be into fifty eight. and now we have to convert this into centimeter cube which will be into 100 uh, sorry not into 100 which will be divided by 100 into 100 into 100 that's what we do to convert centimeter to meter right uh, we divide by 100 so because it is cubed we will have to divide it by 100 cubed so this is what we do so now when i put all these values on my calculator let me see what i get so first let me calculate the denominator 1 into 10 to the power of 5 into 58 divided by brackets open 100 into 100 into 100 brackets closed so we get 5.8 and then i calculate the numerator 0.13 into 8.31 into brackets open 127 plus 273 brackets closed and i i will divide uh, this this value which is 432.12 by 5.8 which was the de denominator so i get 74.5 gram per mole so this is around 75 gram per mole right let's round it off hence calculate the molecular formula of e okay so what was the empirical mass of e it was 12 into 3 Plus six plus sixteen into two. This was the empirical mass. 
So when I do this on my calculator, I get 12 into 3 plus 6 plus 16 into 2, which is 74. Now you can see that the molecular mass and empirical mass